Hello children In this video we are going to learn about food and its nutrients cooking methods digestion of food preservation of food and last good eating habits introduction we use our body for a number of activities and movements we work and play so our body needs energy and strength we get energy from the food we eat food is essential for all living beings it helps us to build our muscles and bones food makes us grow our food consists of cereals pulses vegetables fruits fish meat milk and eggs one cereals java bajra rice and wheat are some of the cereals from which we can make bagri wheat is used to make chapatis rice is cooked and eaten with dal or vegetables two pulses peas green gram mazur chauli and dals are some of the pulses and also tur dal urun and channa from pulses 3 vegetables supply vitamins to the body brinjal cabbage snake gourd pumpkin bitter gourd lady's finger and cauliflower are some of the vegetables can be cooked and eaten which ones do you like potatoes sweet potato and onion are some of the roots that can be cooked and eaten spinach and some leafy vegetables that can be cooked and eaten salads carrot tomatoes cucumber radish beetroot and onion or chopped finely to make salads which can be eaten raw five oil and ghee oil is made from mustard groundnut sunflower and coconut similarly ghee is made from milk or vegetable products 6 fruits bananas apples mangoes papayas 
oranges, grape, sweet limes, pomegranate, figs, watermelons or fruits that are loved by the young and old. Milk. Milk is the most nourishing food. We get milk from cows, buffaloes and goats etc. Children and the sick people should have enough milk every day. We get cream, butter, curds, paneer and cheese from milk. And now let's recall our last video class. We need food to stay alive and grow. Food is made up of molecules called nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. These nutrients have different functions in our body like they make us grow, give us energy and protect our body from diseases. So, a healthy food is a food rich in nutrients. We eat variety of food stuff. They contain different nutrients. Nutrients are substance present in the food. We need food to work, play, grow and live. So, food gives us energy to work, play, grow and live. There are three types of food. One, energy giving food. Two, body building food. Three, protective food. Let us learn about one by one. Energy giving food. Carbohydrates and fats gives us energy and keep our body warm. Energy giving food is rich in carbohydrates and fats. Sugar and all the cereals like rice, wheat, maize, barley are the main sources of carbohydrates. Butter, ghee, ice cream, cheese and all the cooking oils are the main sources of fats. So, foodstuffs containing carbohydrate and fat are called energy giving food. People who do more physical work like laborers need more carbohydrates and fats than a person who sits in the office. Fats gives us energy and keep our body warm and also it gives double energy than carbohydrates. The extra fat get stored in our body for 
future years. But too much of fat is not good for health. If a person eating too much of fat can suffer from obesity. The next one is bodybuilding food. The food rich in protein is called bodybuilding food. Once again, I'll repeat. The food rich in protein is called bodybuilding food. Proteins helps our body to grow and repair the own out tissues. Pulses, nuts, fish, meat, egg and dairy product are some of the main sources of protein. So, proteins used to build new parts of the body as well as repairing the old tissues or parts. Small children need more protein rich food because they are growing all the time. So the food rich in protein is called bodybuilding food. Proteins help our body to grow and repair the own out tissues. And the third one is protective food. Protective food help us to fight diseases. It is rich in vitamins and minerals. Minerals like calcium builds strong bones and teeth. Vitamin E is good for our skin. There are lots of vitamins and minerals in our body to perform different functions. They help us to stay fit and healthy. And also, they give good vision, healthy gums and glowing skin. Minerals like calcium, iron, sodium and potassium needed by our body. Calcium is needed for healthy teeth and strong bones. Iron helps in the formation of blood. They are present in different food items. We should include all such items in our food. Roughage or dietary fibers. Dietary fibers are also known as roughage. They mainly occur in plant products. Though roughage does not provide any nutrients to our body. It provides bulk to our food. Roughage helps our body in getting rid of undigested waste. Roughages in some food items. Children, have you ever observed our food items which are green in color? Take ridge guard and peel it with knife. 
you get long thread like structure these are fibers similarly take beans or pea pods hold at the tip and pull out get a thin thread like structure called its fiber these roughages are not digested in our intestine they remain as undigested waste water water is also an important part of our food it helps in the digestion of food and also it excrete waste from the body in the form of urine and sweat it maintain our body temperature so we must drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water every day balanced diet can you tell what we should do to stay healthy yes eating a balanced diet plenty of water and doing exercise regularly other ways to stay healthy a balanced diet includes all these essential nutrients in correct proportion a diet which contains roughage water and all the nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins minerals in the right amount is called balanced diet it is needed for proper functioning of our body again i'll repeat balanced diet means a diet which contains roughage water and all the nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins minerals in the right amount is called balanced diet early men used to eat food in raw form only some food can eat in raw form and some need to be cooked example fruits and salads can be eaten raw have you observed your mother washing fruits and vegetables thoroughly before eating why is it important yes it is very important because we must remove dust particles and germs from them and also we should not wash vegetables or fruits after cutting can you guess why yes it's true if the vegetables or fruits are washed after cutting many useful nutrients washed away with water we do not always cook all our food items many fruits and vegetables like cucumber carrot radish 
and peas are often eaten raw they are good for our health we must make sure that all such food items are washed properly before they are eaten methods of cooking food 1 boiling 2 steaming 3 baking 4 frying and 5 roasting do you know milk is usually boiled before consuming why because boiling kills germs boiling helps to preserve milk for a longer time boiling food can be cooked by boiling it in water for some time pulses are usually cooked by boiling them in water for different periods of time a pressure cooker is often used for this purpose eggs can also be cooked by boiling them steaming in this case cooking is done by the steam obtained by boiling water a deep vessel can be used for this type of cooking steaming shortens the duration of cooking and helps in conserving nutritive value of the food steam cooked food is also easy to digest food like idli rice and dhokla are prepared by this method baking indirect heating with or without using oil is known as baking baking is usually done in a oven cakes biscuits and breads are made by baking frying many of us must have enjoyed foods like puris pakoras and jalebis these are prepared by frying their ingredients in hot oil this method is not a very healthy method of cooking food it is advisable to avoid fried food and the last one roasting this is one of the oldest method of cooking vegetables are often cooked by direct heating on fire chicken brinjal potato can be roasted digestion of food the food which we eat is broken down into simpler substances so that it can be absorbed by the body to release energy this process is called digestion i'll repeat again the food which we eat is broken down into simpler substances 
so that it can be absorbed by the body to release energy this process is called digestion digestion na serithal saapta unavu serimana aagi adilirundhu sathukal nammude udambukku eduthukollapattu adanal namakku vela seiyradhukku ellathukkum energy kedaikiradhu da digestion adavadhu serithal the process of digestion starts in the mouth and ends at small intestine serimanangrathu modalla aarambikirathu mouth adavadhu vaayila kadaisiya mudirathu small intestine la mudiyathu adavadhu sirukudal la poi mudiyathu let us see how food is digested one the digestion of food starts in the mouth two teeth chew the food and the saliva mixed with the food three saliva changes the insoluble starch present in the food into soluble sugar saapta unavula nammudeya saliva sendadum adu vande karayada starch karaya kudiya sugar starch maathudhu four this food then enter the stomach through food pipe stomach as a hollow muscular bag again i'll repeat this food enter the stomach through the food pipe stomach as a hollow muscular bag five in the stomach digestive juices get mixed with the food and break down into smaller particles vaitrukulla pona and unavoda digestive juices ella mix aagi பெரிய பெரிய பார்ட்டிகளாக இருக்கிற ஃபூடை சின்ன சின்ன ஸ்மாலர் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸாக சேஞ்ச் பண்ணும் சிக்ஸ் தென் இட் ரீச்சஸ் இன்டு லாங் காயில்டு டியூப் கால்டு த ஸ்மால் இன்டஸ்டைம் செவன் டைஜஸ்டிவ் ஜூஸ் ஃப்ரம் பேங்க்ரியாஸ் liver and small intestine mixed with the food and help to completely digest our food kalliral kanayam sirugudal idilella irundu varra digestive juice vande and the unavoda nalla mix aagi enna pannum sonna ஃபுல்லாக கம்ப்ளீட்டாக ஃபுட்டை வந்து டைஜஸ்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஹெல்ப் பண்ணுது எயிட் த டைஜஸ்டட் ஃபுட் அப்சார்ப்ட் பை த ஸ்மால் இன்டஸ்டைன் த டைஜஸ்டட் ஃபுட் அப்சார்ப்ட் பை த ஸ்மால் இன்டஸ்டைன் நைன் தி அன்டைஜஸ்டட் ஃபுட் as passed into the large in- intestine the undigested food is passed into the large intestine now the semi solid waste food comes out as feces through the 
anus. 11. The extra water goes to the kidney and comes out in the form of urine. Preservation of food. There are various methods by which food can be preserved. Germs cannot grow in low temperature. So, food can be preserved by refrigerating them. Food can be preserved in the airtight container which prevent germ from entering the food. And food can also be preserved by drying them. Water content is one of the reason for germs to grow. Some food stuff preserved in strong sugar solution. There are many methods by which we can preserve cooked or uncooked food items for later use. Some methods are 1. Boiling 2. Canning 3. Salting 4. Sweetening 5. Freezing The first one is boiling. This method preserve food by killing germs for a short period of time. It is basically used for preserving milk. If milk is kept without boiling, it gets spoiled. Canon Seafoods, dairy products and sweets can be preserved for a long time by keeping them in airtight cans. Germs do not grow in such airtight cans. 3. Salting Pickles and fish can be preserved by adding salt in them. 4. Sweetening Jams and jellies can be preserved for a long time by adding excess sugar in them. 5. Freezing Milk Fruits Vegetables and Cooked food can be preserved for some days by keeping them in refrigerator. Germs cannot grow in cold environment. Thus, food items remain fresh for a few days. The care of our diet the most important questions about our diet are 1. What makes a proper diet? 2. What should be eaten? Question 3. When should it be eaten? Well, growing children should eat four meals a day. Breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, snacks in the evening and dinner at night. For breakfast, they should have 
chapatis, parotas, bread butter, upma, etc. Then they should drink milk. For lunch and dinner, they should have a variety of food items like cereals, pulses, vegetables and salads. It should be a balanced diet. After meals, they should eat fruit. For evening snacks, they can have roasted grams, sweets, biscuits, homemade vadas and samosas. Good eating habits. 1. Chew your food well. 2. Wash your hands well before and after eating. 3. Do not talk with food in your mouth. 4. Eat at fixed hearts. 5. Do not overeat or else you will get a stomach ache. 6. Do not waste food. 7. Do not eat stale and uncovered food. Avoid eating from roadside stalls. 8. Wash fruits and vegetables before eating or cooking. 9. Do not eat too much of sweets like chocolates, biscuits and ice creams. 10. Eat with peaceful mind. And the last one. Rinse your mouth after eating so that Food particles do not stick in between your teeth.